Hey guys, this is Odd One Gaming. This is going to be another Dragon Age Silent Gods video. In today's video, we're going to be tackling the ancient battlefield. And well, as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, this is number three most the number three most important dungeon that you want to farm when it comes to you know gear and the runes because well, the negative runes can give you some amazing stats in there. They can give you skill haste. They can give you some good uh, base stats at least. Like if you have a look over here again uh, on the filter, you can get attack, HP, defense, accuracy and resistance as main stats for negative runes which are amazing and then when it comes to secondary stats the substats you can get anything in the game and obviously you're going to be hunting mostly for skill haste or maybe attack speed crit rate obviously it all depends on what type of hero you're going to be using or building but what i want to show you today is a team that I managed to do without building too many other heroes because again as i mentioned in other videos i don't get free resources in a sense of like you know the stamina the pots the i again i only get like i didn't get anything yet but i'm only gonna get like some some dice some healer light dice so i can get more summons and maybe more improving of the artifacts so it's hard for me to build all the champions that i want in order to you know make showcase make videos for you guys but what i want to show you nonetheless is a team that i got to far stage five of the ancient battlefield okay so the first one that you obviously want to get to is going to be stage four because you don't want to be farming the rare negative runes you want to just straight up get past this point at least by the time you get here you should be easily farming grave of the realm to get epic gear if not even already have legendary gear so what i'm going to show you today is everybody's going to be in epic gear i'm not going to have any legendary gear even though i could use it for the showcase and maybe push higher i'm just going to show you stage five instead of like you know just going for the base stage four and i'm going to show a team that well most of you out there should be able to build and that's a team consisting of horus which everybody gets for free hexandra the usual one in there our amazing healer and honestly she's one of the best healers in the game for this one if not actually the best then we have meredith i did build meredith specifically for this she's the common okay so hopefully you have her like if you didn't pull her you, you're the most unlucky person in the game i guess if you did not pull her as a common again same principle she's amazing for this one because well she brings good healing but no buffs that's the key thing about this this uh dungeon you don't want to bring any buffs in here if you can uh help it because well what's happening over here is uh, whenever the boss does his ultimate part let me see which one is it? this one okay he switches between forms and every time he does that he attacks all enemies and dispels all the buffs every time he dispels the buff he gains more damage and the more the damage ramps up the harder he's gonna hit and you definitely don't want that to happen so yeah that's meredith then i have the adventurer as frost for some extra survivability if you're surviving enough you can switch him into fire and you know you're gonna have better affinity in here and then the last one is sacred my usual my usual champion that i bring everywhere as the rare that i built for this uh particular reason for showcasing but sacred can be anybody else and what you prefer to have in sacred spot is somebody that dispels buffs okay that's the most important thing you kind of want in here either somebody that dispels buff or somebody that puts buff prohibition because well you're gonna see let's start the fight and see exactly what i mean you're gonna you know people are missing here because i'm trying to do it on purpose so it's more relatable but the whole idea is you why you would prefer to have somebody that removes buffs or puts buff prohibitions because of this see the boss puts any increase attack on himself 40 percent attack up that's gonna hurt a lot so you know i did not have the resources unfortunately to build somebody else that i would have liked for this case there's plenty of rares there's plenty of epics that do that like you know if you're lucky enough of a rash he's gonna be amazing for here because he's gonna bring you more healing he's gonna bring you removal of buffs he's one of the best ones then there's some rares such as like jorana if i'm not mistaken that does shields on the ultimate and then at the same time on the battle skill she removes buffs or i think it's on the basic every every three basic attacks she removes a buff so she's one of those ones that are really good so there are there are tons of options of heroes that you can build and bring instead of sacred like i said i only had her and the reason i'm using her it's at least well she brings me some damage as we can see over here but at the same time she brings me that decrease attack so it gives me the chance you know to be able to survive and not worry that i'm just gonna be dying so 
might look a little bit scary but between the two healers i'm actually should be doing okay if something obviously happens and you cannot do this yourself go back to stage four or if you see that it's too easy move upward to stage six okay so always keep testing it or as an example if you see that you're really close from doing it but you're not quite there yet don't forget about consumables okay the consumables are going to help you a ton and well one thing that i do not have on all my people that you know maybe you're going to have is the negative runes and that's just by having them five star well this team over here has i think it's two or three people i think at least two people they're not even five star okay so cigarette is not even five star and meredith is not even five star i just kept them at four star you know to i guess again make it as relatable as possible but <clears throat> this boss has some interesting mechanics and it's obviously from my point of view one of the hardest ones to fight because of all the mechanics that he has he always does that a we damage so your best bet when it comes to positioning is to keep them grouped up okay because if you're gonna have them keep uh you know grouped up like this you're gonna be able to just heal up easily and honestly you maybe you don't really need horus in here as a tank if you have somebody that's like you know pretty thank you look at that that was scary <laughs> that was scary the increased attack was up and i didn't have the increased attack and it can be a little bit dodgy as well but we should get back on track i think sigre got resisted by you know for some reason even though that should have not happened okay decrease attack is up now healing happened so again even for me it might look a little bit scary but it's still it's still gonna work and at the end of the day even if it's not perfect even if it's not a hundred percent keep in mind that your stamina will not be wasted okay even if you fail the run the stamina will not be wasted and that's something that makes it you know makes it really good when it comes to testing if you want to test a ton of stuff okay it seems like my adventure is just not tank enough i'm quite sure i can still finish it it's just gonna be a little bit slower because you know well cigarette is uh she's only she's only four star she's not five star and her damage might be a little bit slow but yeah the whole idea behind this dungeon is like i said see the bo the boss keeps putting increased attack it it keeps putting increased defense on itself and that's where the problem arises from you know it's like you need to control those buffs from him you need to remove them or you need to block them if possible or bring several decreased attack uh, heroes in your team so just trying to deal with all of those mechanics okay this is definitely not a lucky run it seems like this was one of those bad rng ones but again let me so if i go back to the level four one it's 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 gonna work just fine i i took it to what 20 percent already so another thing that i want to mention and while i'm doing this you know what let's go back to stage four because we're still gonna get the epic uh runes from that one as well and one other thing that's really important in this fight is again understanding the mechanics is knowing that uh, what the boss does well like I said, one of the first things he does with this one is he uh, tries to... This is the, Oh yeah, this is the one they wanted to talk about. So with this one, what he tries to do is he hits the person that's furthest away. In my case, over here is Alexandra, And he's going to stun that person. But if you have enough resistance to do that, you're going to cause him to backfire. And while he's in that backfire mode, you're going to see... Let me show you. Okay, he did that well while he's in the backfire he's gonna be taking extra damage okay let me see does he show for how much necrotic damage backfire 10 seconds if set buff is not inflicted or dispel within the duration so basically what the backfire does like i said is he's going to be taking more damage so one key thing that you want in this fight is the person which is farthest and honestly hexander should be a good one for that because you're gonna build her to level up as much as possible <clears throat> you're gonna build that person with resistance depending on the stage you're gonna know if you need a hundred 150 200 and you know what just keep testing it see if you go in there and you see that you keep getting stunned it means you need to boost your resistance a bit more then another thing that you need to keep in mind is when the boss does his uh the second skill or is it this one one of these skills let me see this one he's gonna attack the person that has the highest attack that one okay so whoever's gonna be the one that has the highest attack when this happens well that's gonna be a little bit scary because if they're too squishy and they're not gonna be alive you might need to pump out uh, pump up a little bit more hp or more defense for them so that that they can survive <clears throat> like i said this is one of those really tough dungeons i can barely do stage seven i think with uh with my main team or i'm trying to push towards the next one because of the way that you know all the mechanics of the boss uh, that that happens you know 
all that increased attack, the increased defense, it also makes it, you know, really tricky to kill it fast because he has both of them. He has the increased attack and the increased defense. So if you don't have the right buffs and the right debuffs or, or the dispeller of buffs, for the boss you're gonna be in a little bit of a pickle but yeah i guess you can see that this one's is looking a lot better i'm gonna slowly take it down now let me just go out of it and show you a little bit the bills that i have on these people and again maybe go a little bit through the two people that i said are really important in here because they don't bring that many buffs and that's gonna be hexandra and meredith but first of all i have the <clears throat> adventurer just basic stuff you know the same old elven quiver i still keep on him i could maybe even up upgrade this to 16 but i'm keeping it at this level for now because it's better for showcase but then i have attack percent chest attack percent gloves try and give him as much attack percent as you can because that's how the shields scale for, for the frost form the more attack you have the, the bigger the shields then this one's just an hp with random stats and obviously i didn't put any of the negative runes even though i could have put maybe this one i just chose to put nothing so again it's as relatable as possible but he is five star okay he is five star i did not level him i just kept him at five star leveled and that's about it i just kept him over there <clears throat> then horus i just have a level eight banner of oath on him honestly it doesn't really matter because he's tanky and then defense percent here hp percent on this one the weapon with some stats in there again i just have the attack sets doesn't matter he gets enough survivability stats he's gonna be good and then when it comes to the positive rune an hp one with some resistance and attack speed not that it really matters because he's not gonna do the most damage and then again he is also five star then if we move over to hexandra she is five star as well because you know what if you're gonna farm stuff to five star your adventure or horus you're going to be getting poison as well so you're obviously going to have hexandra five star as well everybody's in epic gear as i mentioned <clears throat> i gave her the the troll's heart because this one gives more resistance and because i want her to be the one with high resist so when the boss does that hit that tries to stun her she can resist it well i just chose to go with this one but any artifact that you have that gives you resistance just go with that one because that's what's going to help and it also gives her a little bit more hp which is not bad because she's going to survive then i chose to build her in goblins brawler i told you this is one of the best sets for support because i want to get as much skill haste on her as possible and i gave her resistance chest again pump up the resist then hp percent uh gloves some resistance hp and defense on the weapon again some resistance on the helmet and then on the what to call the positive rune i give her enlightenment because this one you cannot get resistance on you can only get resistance on the negative runes i did have one but i took it off because you know it, it was an epic one i don't have rare ones anymore because i sold them so i wanted to make it relatable then cigarette same old build i just had the crown on her because you know if you did get a dupe epic the crown is the first thing that you would buy because it brings you decrease defense okay defense penalty helps you do more damage then i have a crit ray glove on her accuracy chest so she lands her debuffs and then i just completed the sets with the predator one and the goblin brawler plus an attack positive rune okay and then the last one the common that's actually legendary in disguise uh, i'm not necessarily a legendary but epic level that's meredith and well she's amazing like i said because she does heals but no buffs and that's what you need in this fight you don't need any buffs so healers that do that bring no buffs are gonna be the best ones over here because again the more buffs you that you bring the worse is gonna be for you unless you just kill the boss in a minute and then yeah bring all the buffs in the world because you're gonna be able to deal with it and well meredith i have with the luminary or gospel this one you can give on her or on hexandra you know any healer deserves to have this one because it's really good then i have resistance chest even though i did only resistance i would have preferred to have some Something else that's what i had available defense percent glove and then obviously just completing the set and same principle as Alexandra. i want to have as much skill haste on her so that's why i gave her the goblin brawler set and when it comes to the rune i gave her hp and like double crit damage not like it helps me much but still just gave her something for more stats to make sure she does not die and she is again she's four star like i said she's not five star yet same principle for cigarette she's four star not five star yet obviously if you add them at five star it's gonna be easier because you can give more stats you can 
start giving negative runs and then you can start pushing to the next level but anyway this is gonna be it for the video today guys i hope this helps you i hope this gives you an idea of how you can tackle the ancient battlefield and i hope you remember stage four is not that hard and start doing this because you'll get the chance to get the negative runes epic ones if not you're guaranteed to get materials to start forging that and you know this is gonna boost your account to the next level the more pieces of gear and the more negative runes you can put on your people the higher you can advance in every other area of the game but yeah thank you all for watching as always if you do enjoy my content don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel to see when i upload next and i'm gonna see you all in the next one peace love take care everyone bye guys